Welcome back to Wave of Docker. Got another series preview for you today. Orioles take on the Chicago Cubs at Camden Yards from today, Tuesday, July 9th to Thursday, July 11th. Three game set. Orioles had the off day yesterday on Monday after taking two out of three in Oakland in their last series in Oakland. Pretty sad day, but you know, they took two out of three. That second game, we're not going to talk about it, but I mean, I think we look pretty good um, overall, I'd say. I think Grayson had a good start. I think uh, Kate Povich, he's like one more bad start away from probably getting sent down again, if not getting sent down this week if we trade for a starter. Um, and who started that game one? Is it Albert Suarez, I think? Yeah, Albert Suarez. He looked good, too. So I think it was a pretty solid series. The bats are still a little sleepy. Um, but hopefully the all-star break, you know, with us only having three all-stars, that allows them to wake up a little bit. But, um, yeah, I mean, we're playing good baseball, 7-3 in our last 10, uh, three up on the Yankees, 57-33. Uh, the Cubs are 42-49, and 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 11 games back of the division-leading Milwaukee Brewers. And, uh, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? Let's get into the, the pitching probables. Game one, Dean Crane versus Jamison Tygon. Game two, Corbin Burns versus Shota Imanaga. And game three, Big Al versus Justin Steele. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, game one, like I said, Dean Kramer versus Jameson Tyon. Uh, Dean was stellar in his first start back. Five innings, two hits, two walks, eight strikeouts. Introduced a nasty slitter as well that he threw almost as much as his four seamer. Uh, he had a 19% whiff percentage throughout his entire start and only three hit, three hard hit fair balls. So, I mean, he was, he was dealing Dean as we, as we know and love. And that's always great to see because I love Dean Kramer. And I know a lot of people are skeptical of his return, but I mean, I think he showed up and showed out. So that's awesome. As a big Dean Kramer fan, it's always great to see him silence the haters. Um, I'm really happy to have him back in the, in the rotation. And if he continues to produce like he was, um, when was that, Friday? I, I, I don't really have much else to complain about. No, that was Thursday. I don't have that much else to complain about. So no, wait, no, that was Wednesday. Wednesday's when he pitched. I'm, I'm rambling. But, um, yeah, I mean, Dean Kramer looked awesome. And I'm just very happy to see that. There's a tie on. He's 5-4 with a 2.99 ERA over 81 and one thirds innings. Holds a 118 whip and a 5% walk rate to a 19.2% strikeout rate. Last time out, he went 7 against the Philadelphia Phillies, allowing two earned runs on four hits and no walks and picked up a win. Uh, primarily throws six pitches, leans to his four-seamer and cutter the most. He's been solid all around with no distinct situational weaknesses outside the sixth inning. Like, I mean, I was looking at his baseball savant and all these stats that I'm going to be... I'm trying to use baseball savant a little bit more. All these stats with the baseball savant. But, I mean, I was looking through his lefty-righty splits, his inning by inning, his situational, you know, run on first, run on second. Nothing really stuck out. I mean, he, like I said, he has a 299 ERA, 118 whip. Like, he's just been a solid starter for them. Um, and, yeah, that's James and Tyon. Game two, like I said, Corbin Burns, Shodi Managa, uh, Corbin Sala in his last time out, six innings, two earned runs, six... Strikeouts, one walk, one homer, no decision. Has been one of the best, best baseball pitchers, best pitchers in baseball all year, looking for win number 10. Uh, yeah, I mean, last start, he just didn't really have the run support that we would have liked. But, I mean, he's still going out there. I think he's probably, out of his 18 starts, I think he's had three not go up to six innings. Like, he's just been consistently quality star, quality star, quality star, quality star. I mean, yeah, I think he has like a 2.38 ERA, so it shows. And I mean, I think he's. I mean, uh, unless, you know, a fun. A, it's it's honestly up between like Scooball, Hauk, Lugo, and Corbin Burns. If we can trade for Scooball, that means we have two Cy Young candidates on the same team. So, pretty interesting. But um, yeah, I mean Corbin Burns. He's just been Corbin Burns. We knew what we were getting when we traded for him, and he's been producing like it. So not really much else to say about him besides he's a great pitcher. Shota Imanaga, 7-2, 3.16 ERA, ERA over 91 innings. Also has a 111 whip, 4% walk rate, and a 24.7% uh, strikeout rate. Had a really hot start to his rookie year, but has recently been uh, cooling down a little bit uh, with a 5.67 ERA in June. But he's still having a solid year. Leans heavily on his four-seamer and splitter, making up 87.8% of his pitches. So, uh, yeah, let's make sure that he uh, gets that ERA up to four. Like I remember he had like a... He had like a sub one for his first like 10 starts or something. And then he had like a 10 spot a few weeks ago. He had like a five spot. Like he's just kind of been uh, leveling, leveling out. Like, I mean, he's still, like I said, he's still seven and two with the 316. So he's, you know, he may win. He was probably going to win rookie of the year for them. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's having a good year, but let's, let's make sure that we get to him. 
They're kind of, you know, like he's kind of in a slump, you could say. So if we can get him well, it's something, I guess, you know, that's ideal. Uh, Albert Suarez, another quality start for him on Friday. Six innings, two in runs, one walk, four hits. Lowers his ERA to 248 over 65 and one-thirds innings. Only four pitches for him with the four team we're taking up at 52.5%. Uh, uh, he's just been such a great find by Mike Elias. It's just been really impressive to see him just go out there and pretty consistently just do the same thing over and over again. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I, for a while I was really optimistic about Povich sticking the rotation, but uh, as of late, he's kind of been plateauing. So if we were to trade for an arm, I'd imagine Pove would probably get sent down and it would, we'd run uh, Corbin, Grayson, that pitcher, Dean Kramer, and then Alvaro Suarez, maybe, or maybe we call up somebody, or maybe we slide Cole Irvin back in there. But um, yeah, I just really hope we trade for an arm. I've said that every episode, but we need it. So I'm going to keep saying it. Uh, Justin Steele, one and three with a two nine five ERA over seventy nine and one thirds innings, picked up his first win his last time out, going uh, all nine, giving up one and run on two hits with seven strikeouts. Throws five pitches, four hundred fifty nine point seven percent slider, twenty nine point six. After placing fifth in Cy Young last season, he hasn't been as great, but he's still a solid arm. Uh, picking up his first win last and his last start is crazy. After I think he's had like twelve starts already, but uh, I mean yeah, that's just a testament to how mediocre the Cubs' offense has been. Like I was looking through their baseball savant. Uh, Bellinger's not having as good a year as he was last year. Say Suzuki's looking better. Um, yeah, like, they're just not, I don't know. Like, I think they definitely re-signed Bellinger looking to kind of repeat their success, but they've just kind of been mediocre, like I said. I mean, I, what's the record again? Like, 40, 41, 49. Like, they're, they're not really competitive this year. 42 and 49, yeah. Like, they were definitely looking to compete last year, or this year, after last year. They were, like, relatively competitive, but, um... Yeah, let's just go in there, or let's let's come in here. We're going to Cannon Yards, and let's sweep them. Let's 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 go into the All Star break hot. Let our guys get some rest outside of Adley, Gunner, and uh, Corbin. But um, yeah, I mean, this is a this is a good series to heat up. Like I mean, we look good in Seattle. We look good in Oakland. We we didn't look great, so I'd like to use the the Cubs series to kind of you know ramp us up and you know take on the Yankees this weekend. Uh, just blow them out of the water and then go into the break, you know, at least four or five games up on the Yankees. Like, that'd be awesome. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Like I said, all the stats I use are from Baseball, baseball Savant. I'm going to start using that more often. But, uh, yeah, go O's and peace out. I threw up the peace sign a little too early. Peace out.